like the title says, this is not a build guide, but rather more of a showcase of what's to find on your local marketplace. In this instance, OfferUp. You can pause the video and I'll show screenshots of the chats I had with Chet Goldstein before buying the PC, as well as the, like, the listing pages and all that. And because of how outdated the computer was, which it technically was, and how it looked in the pictures, I knew there was supposed to be cleaning done, but I wasn't too sure how much. But for 150 and what I was paying for, it was a great deal nonetheless. So I got to the man's crib and he just showed me a running and all that, but I didn't really get to test it, you know? And the only thing I didn't get, which I also didn't realize at the time, was the three mouse pads uh, on the listing picture. So I kind of basically got robbed because I didn't get what I paid for. But other than that, I got the monitor, speakers, mouse, keyboard, and HDMI cable, which I still have as I'm making the video right now. All of them were in okay condition, but they everything needed um, a bit of cleaning. I also didn't take pictures or videos of the keyboard, but it's Logitech's old ass G19S keyboard, which I have right now, but it's very dirty and dusty. Now moving on to the PC, this motherfucker kept shutting down on me after like 10 minutes because it couldn't handle a little bit of heat. I didn't know this at first, but once I opened it and took a good look at it and all that, that shit was dustier than the back of your TV, dude. I had a case at the time, so I, I decided to rebuild it in one. I do apologize for not having good footage, but I did record most of the teardown. Mm, I think most of it. Now going into more depth for the PC, this bad boy was running an AMD FX 970 8 core processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM at 1200 megahertz speed, but the kit, but the kit did say 2400, so I must have not done something in the BIOS. 250 gigabyte SSD in specific, Samsung's A50 EVO line, one terabyte hard drive, and two GTX 960s running in SLI, and they both had two gigabytes of VRAM, and they were low key ass before the price. I wasn't complaining. I did have some problems because every time I would want to go into Windows, I would have to do it manually through the BIOS. And sometimes, well, kind of constantly, the PC would crash. When building the PC, I did replace the thermal paste on both the GPUs and I also used, oh, and because I didn't have a air compressor, I had to use a straw to blow like the dust out of the AIO and both fans on the GPU. I did struggle quite a lot, but ended up finishing building the PC the next day. The specific case I used was Fantex P360A, which is a really good case and easier building, but I just made things hard on myself and struggled. I didn't use the fans it came with, instead I reused the fans from the original build. And after the build was done, it, it ran nice and cool with almost no problems besides the crashing and manual boot up into Windows I had to do. And at the end of the video, I'll show pictures of what it looked like and how it came out. And other than that, thanks for watching and God knows when the next time I'll upload. Yo, fuck this shit. For my first time. Eh, I mean, I guess it's okay, you know. These, this fan and this fan w weren't spinning. I connected this fan right here and then that fan right here. But other than that, everything's showing up pretty good. But I mean, I don't know. I guess I need to go more into it. But that's about it. Everything's running good. I'm sorry I didn't show like 
quite a lot, but I guess here it is. I'll put everything back and like actually clean everything. Shit, what the hell is that? Whatever. Thanks.